365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you today. Hi there. Thank you for joining us today, January 11, 2022. The title of today's devotional is, What's More Difficult? Let us have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to have this time with you and to continue to learn more about you and your love. We ask that your Holy Spirit guides us in this devotional and that he speaks to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading is found in James 4, 6, and it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. What's more difficult, the conversion of people who know they are wicked or that of those who think they are good? This is one of those questions that can be answered with another question. Who was forgiven between the two men who went to the temple to pray? The Pharisee who thanked God because he wasn't a sinner like other people? Or the tax collector who couldn't even raise his eyes between heaven because he considered himself unworthy? In the words of the Lord Jesus, it was the tax collector who went to his home justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Why did God forgive the convicted and confessed sinner while overlooking the Pharisee's prayer? Does the parable not say that this man lived devoutly? He did not steal. He was not unfaithful to his wife. He did not commit injustices against his neighbor. In addition, he fasted twice a week and gave tithes of all his earnings. However, he left the temple without God's blessing. Why? I believe that Philip Yancey hit the nail on the head when he wrote that for God's grace to be effective, the sinner must first receive it. However, in order to receive it, his, his or her hands must be empty. The tax collector was forgiven because he went to the temple empty-handed. The Pharisee's hands, on the other hand, were full. How could he receive God's grace if his hands were already full of his pride and self-sufficiency? There's still one more lesson in this parable, and it's that for God, humanity isn't divided into righteous people and sinners. There are only sinners, sinners who like the tax collector, recognize their condition and ask for mercy, and those who, like the Pharisee, believe themselves to be righteous and therefore consider that they don't need to repent. How are your hands as you present yourself to God? Now, before you respond, I want to share with you the following words. Grace is in the hand of God reaching earthward, Faith is in the hand of man reaching up to take hold of God's hand. In order to take hold of God's hand, shouldn't our hands be open and also empty? Do we understand now why the tax collector was forgiven and why the Pharisee was not? Let us close with a prayer. Dear Lord, we stand before you with open hands. Please cleanse them of all pride and fill them with your forgiveness and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're so happy that you were able to join us today for this devotional reading. We hope that you'll be back tomorrow. May God bless you. May God's love embrace you. And may his presence be with you throughout this day.